Hello everyone and welcome back into my shed for the first time this year. Happy New Year. Today we're going to do a soft modelling clay activity inspired by our talk from Justina at the Museum of Classical Archaeology. So you have all your materials ready. Once you have uh, decided what image you're going to use first, cut out the sheet of paper with the template on and stick it down onto the card with the Pritt stick. Then start to work over the top with the modelling clay. The modelling clay is really soft and um, it has a sort of rubbery feel to it when pulling apart. So it might take a bit of getting used to but it does stay nice and soft for a long period of time. So you can use lots of different techniques. You can hold the clay in your hand and squeeze it till it's uh, really soft and um, flat and thin. And then you can add that on top as a sort of base layer. You can roll into balls and squish into the eyes like I'm doing here. You can then roll into long, thin sausage shapes that you can put round the eyes or as hair. It's important to mention that you don't of course have to go over the templates that we've provided. You can draw round your hand for instance like I'll show you later on or you can make up your own head and, and build it up from your own drawing or just go straight onto the card. We need the, th the thick card to give it a base so that we can lift it up and move it and it's got somewhere safe to, uh, to rest while it dries. You can keep building up the image as I'm doing here with the nose, adding bits on top while the clay is still soft. It will adhere nicely to each to itself and um, it, it's not going to be one of those uh, clay activities where we're going to get a completely smooth finish but we can enjoy the uh, the gnarled kind of effect like you, you you can with clay the second template we've given you is a hand template but just you could just as easily draw around your own hand it's a nice thing to do. I think I prefer drawing around my own hand. The, the hand in the sculpture has a rather odd thumb, which frustrated me while I was making it. So similarly with this, this one, um, the clay is still clearly nice and soft. Um, you're going to want to roll out long sausages. I know it sounds uh, uh, very simple, but, but if we do that to start with, we'll have a base on top of which we can work. Once we've got the whole hand covered in the soft modelling clay, you can start to then draw over the top with the modelling tools and give some kind of pattern and form. Uh, you can dot in or you can draw in like I'm doing here just to give some kind of definition to the clay. Great, I hope you enjoy having a go. The last thing to say about the materials is that if you have any of the clay left over, please store it in an airtight container and then it will stay soft for as long as you need it.